Brian from Two Fab here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Beth. You know, just reality TV queen. And I, I am so excited for Real World Homecoming Los Angeles. And uh, welcome back to our, our, our reality, you know, TV fandom. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited about watching the Real World Homecoming. I cannot wait. <laughs> and now for you, you know, you had like a, a solid 13 year break from reality TV before doing, you know, the Challenge All-Stars and then the season of the Real World. I guess, did you have different reasons for doing each one? Um, I mean, look, they're two totally different shows, right? Because yeah. <laughs> uh, they're doing, getting back together with my roommates who I haven't seen in almost 30 years. Um, I've always wanted that because I've always felt like we've had a lot of unfinished business, mm -hmm. especially for me, because I didn't really get along with most of the people that I lived with. And now that I'm older, I feel like, you know, going back and talking about things that we went through, you know, and being able to approach them in a different way um, would be just an amazing thing amazing opportunity so I'm that's what I'm most excited about for doing the real world homecoming mm. um, because we are we've we've lived life we were yeah we're grown and um I'm just really hoping that I can walk out with like loving everybody at the end <laughs> I was gonna say were you kind of convinced you could get your roommates to maybe change your, their opinion of you and and do you feel you were at least somewhat successful in that in that goal I mean, look, I'm not, I'm going to be me. Yeah. I'm gonna show up as my authentic self and be me. I, I don't, I'm not going to try and persuade somebody to like me. Right. Um, mm -hmm. No, as you shouldn't. I, I do really, I mean, I think that if people took the time to get to know me, they'd really enjoy <laughs> being around me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as I tell my kids in the real world, you know, not everybody's going to like you. Mm. Right? <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, my kids are 10 and 12. Okay. Have they yeah. seen the original seasons of the real world yet with you? And what did they think about you going back? You know, I think my, my 12 year old has seen a, a little bit of it. Okay. Not much. And um, they were excited. They were like, mom, you have to go and do this, please. You have to go and do it. So yeah, they were, they were definitely excited about me going back and doing this. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, was there anyone maybe you were most nervous to see or, or meet up with again that you did feel like you had that, especially for you, unresolved issues? Yeah. I mean, look, I was really <laughs> nervous about seeing Tammy. Yeah. For sure, I was nervous about seeing Tammy. I had, you know, I had my judgments about Tammy and, you know, also David, right? Mm -hmm. That was a, a, that relationship was, uh, you know, yeah. very, it was very explosive mm -hmm. to say the least. To say the least. And um, to be able to talk to him again, to kind of see where he is, um, is a gift. And I'm, I'm hoping that, um, that we could come, come out on the other side, you know, unicorns and rainbows, That's <laughs> <laughs> which of course never happens on the real world, but <laughs> and then of course there's Glenn mm -hmm. who like, for whatever reason, didn't like me. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a trigger for a lot of people <laughs> and I, I really want to know what is it about me <laughs> that people don't like, right? Because <laughs> like, I'm not a perfect person. I want to learn and grow, right? Yeah. And if I, I didn't say, care, if I didn't care, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother asking or, you know, be curious about it. Like, I really want to know, because I know that I'm not a, I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> Do you think you got some of that answer? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I mean, you'll have to, you'll have to wait. And, see. Okay. <laughs> have to wait. <laughs> and I mean, obviously, as you mentioned, anytime you talk about real world Los Angeles, the incident between Tammy and David is kind of the thing everyone zones in on. The revival takes, you know, wastes no time getting right into it. It's the first footage you guys watch together as a cast. Just uh -huh. 
how did you think that conversation was going to go? Because you know it was going to be one of the first things that that got brought up. I guess what did what were you expecting versus maybe how it played out? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be the first thing that we saw. I, I yeah. thought I thought you know, wow, this show is coming in hot right now. Just mm -hmm. like you know, going right for you know the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, you know, how did I think it was going to go? I mean. I thought, I thought that it was going to, um, I felt like, a, I felt like some people were holding back a lot mm. and then it started to make me feel uncomfortable because I was ready to have a real conversation, but I felt like some people were like, wanted to put another bandaid on it. Mm. Yeah. I get that. I mean, especially first time back on TV for a lot of these yeah. people and a lot of people, they want to come off a certain way and maybe not say the wrong thing. Yeah. But I, I feel like, you know, we're here to talk about this, like really yeah. talk about this. And, um, so yeah, <laughs> I kind of felt I like mean, I, I won't give away, you know, everything we will we'll tease this, but obviously David does share his own point of view and kind of how he saw it very differently from everyone else. After that, were you able to kind of come around to at least see some of what his side of it was? Or, you know, did, did this change your perception of that incident particularly? I mean, look, I, I, I try to understand David the best I can try and understand David. Um, yeah. It's just when you feel like you talk, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I just don't know <laughs> what to say about it because I don't know what I can say and not say right now about it. Right. So I don't want to say anything <laughs> that I'm not allowed to say. Um, yes. But all I know is that I'm, I, I felt like I was trying to have a conversation and to talk about things. And um, I felt Tammy was, you know, talking about, you know, was able to speak her truth, but I felt that yeah. there were others in the room that just were just too worried about how they personally looked and how they were going mm. to come up in a situation. And that to me was a disappointment. Mm. So. And I mean, for you just in general, how does it feel to be part of a season where there is such a explosive moment that everyone kind of does want to talk about or is almost the defining moment of the season? I mean, look, we were, we were so young back then and yeah. we didn't know, you know, we were just learning about who we were and trying to learn about the situation that we were in being filmed. And, um, you know, I mean, even at my age now, like whatever, I'm still learning how to evolve to be a better person yeah. every day. Right. Um, yeah. But, but at the end of the day, I mean, I love my roommates and I wish them all the best. And I, I have no ill will toward David or anybody else that, that, I, that I have lived with. We shared something, you know, the special experience together. And even if we haven't like fully resolved everything, I, I mean, I don't know if everybody's going to walk away feeling like, okay, we, like we really... We could put a nice little bow on it and walk away. I'm yeah. not sure that, that you know, maybe that's gonna happen. If it doesn't happen, I'm willing to come back and 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 revisit. So. <laughs> and you know, obviously we we've seen all the promo pictures, the teasers, Dominic and Aaron don't return for this. Yeah. I know you're still close with Dominic. You kind of explain why he's not here, but have you talked to him after, you know, since filming and kind of filled him in? And and does he have maybe regrets about not coming back or is he? firmly happy that he made the yeah. choice he did. I mean, look, I think Dom <laughs> Dominic is happy to, to not be involved as much as I, you know, as much as I was like begging him, please, please, please. <laughs> I mean, don't ever say never. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think he was really happy with his decision to not be involved. So I'm really <laughs> wondering what he's going to think about watching the show right he's, after seeing he's watching it. everything he's watching you know he's seeing all these interviews and um yeah i just i hope that maybe someday he reconsiders to come back <laughs> and maybe you know maybe he doesn't feel comfortable with like getting together with all of us but maybe he would get together with a handful of us 
Mm, I was gonna say, do you think there is some sort of future appearance on you know some other reunion with you particularly? I mean, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I think that maybe if we if we just did, you know, a certain certain cast members and maybe <laughs> maybe he would do it. I don't know. I can't speak for him, but I think I I, I think if I think if there were certain conditions, he would do it. Yeah, with the right <laughs> group. <laughs> I was going to say, we were talking a little bit before starting, but some sort of ultimate real world, you know, mashup season, I think would be awesome. Just how would you feel about doing something like that? <laughs> you know, I think it would be really cool to like take cast members from different seasons and put them together in a house <laughs> or maybe a vacation and send them out. Because what people really don't, may not know is that we are all friends yeah a lot of us are friends from different seasons and we have histories living in our real world okay mm. so <laughs> um so there's a lot going on behind the scenes that people don't know and even on like on the challenges like people may not understand like gosh, yeah why does so-and-so like really not like so-and-so well it's because of things that <laughs> happen in our real lives that you might not get a glimpse of. So I think it would be really, really interesting to do something like that. I would say, is there like one person you would love to kind of be thrown into a situation with that maybe you haven't had time to really have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with? Oh gosh. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've got <laughs> or I guess from a favorite, maybe if you have a favorite season yourself. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd love to be thrown into a house with Eric Neese. <laughs> <laughs> after all he is the reason why i did the real world uh, uh, you know eric's a healer yep and i really think you know maybe he could help heal me from some of my childhood wounds or maybe you know help me heal with some of my castmates mm. um, and kind of give him a chance that he didn't really have with new york to yeah. really get back in a house with a bunch of people too yeah, I think that would be, I would think that would be really cool. Um, you know, I mean, I have like some unfinished business with like Montana mm. um, that I think would be interesting. Montana, I haven't get along. thought about Montana in forever. <laughs> Just even these names, I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we kind of got a little scrappy. Um, I mean, Sean and Rachel, uh, Rachel and I were pretty close friends back in the day. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's, there's just so many, there's so many great right. combinations that you could like put together, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. um, MTV, listen up, we'll put it out there. Yeah, <laughs> That's really what we want. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, lastly, I did just want to ask if you could think back to when the original season of the show aired, just after it, the episode started playing, what was the reaction like for you at that time? And are you kind of glad maybe there wasn't social media back then? Can you just imagine what that would have been like? Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't even imagine. I mean, back then, you know, and I, I, I tell my daughter this, like we didn't have social media and there weren't that many channels. No. <laughs> so, at, you know, being on MTV, like every kid wanted to be on MTV. I mean, I auditioned for the real world. Did you? <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. Of course. Yeah, I mean, like, who didn't want to be on MTV and, like, going to spring break and, like, mm -hmm. hanging out at the MTV beach house? I mean, it was just, the you know, the coolest thing and still is. MTV is such a huge part of um, pop culture. Back then, there were not that many channels. So you're on MTV. It's like, oh, my gosh. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, after the show, I mean, it was crazy. Like, everywhere I went, like, people knew who I was. And, um <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I was like interested, you know, I was young, I was young, wild and free. And I wanted to meet boys <laughs> back then, but then it was like, right. when the opportunity presented itself, it was like, ew, like, I don't really <laughs> want to date somebody who just likes me because I'm on TV. Mm. So I didn't really date that much. Cause I was like really freaked out about it. I actually did want to ask if you did ever run into maybe any celebrity fans, cause I know Trishel, Katie, you know, they had like Leonardo DiCaprio, Vince Vaughn, like talking to them or going out on double dates with them. Yeah. Was that something that you ever <laughs> experienced? Yeah. 
I mean, definitely, but uh, I don't know if I want to keep it up here. Yeah. (laughs) As long as you remember. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, that definitely, I mean, I definitely had some interesting experiences in the, in the celebrity world, but yeah. (laughs) Well, Beth, it has been a pleasure <laughs> meeting you. We'll leave that tease out there. Maybe someday, a future season, we'll get that answer. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to see this whole season. I, you know, I've watched the premiere. I loved it. I can't wait to see, you know, what happens next for you all. Oh but. my gosh, that's so cool that you got to see it. I cannot wait to watch. Like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I cannot wait to watch it. <laughs> it's good you will enjoy it hopefully and again thank you thank you so much